good music tonight for Pride, Pride Night. There's a you know, special playlist, and we're underway. That is uh, Mauricio Pereira. Captoon gets a touch to it, not cleared yet. Reeling. It's uh, Jake Mulraney. And claim in the area by uh, Petrovic. He really is. Robin Jansen. Ray still on the attack. Carlos Heel now leads the league in chances created. Tied for the lead in assists. Now Bo drives it towards the near post. Galese parries it behind. It will be a corner kick. That's the, the type of dynamism you want to see from the Revolution attacking players. Bo, two goals and five appearances, gets tackled there by Gotta Jansen. Got to be a yellow card. Jansen, that's his eighth yellow card of the season. Here's Heel. Guerrero delivery for Bo touches the goalward and then it's covered on the second effort off game against Australia must be a big disappointment but he reacted well there it's incredibly hard save because look at the distraction well timed run and Gustavo Bo gets a last second touch you can see Dylan Bro it's the same relationship we saw in the last match too, too close to goal Petrovic guarding his near post Good delivery in, not cleared yet. Pato drives it, but it will be a goal kick. Orlando will look to hit on the fast break the other way. There's Pato going at Bell. Weaves, shoots, oh, good save. Palmed away by the big serve. This is uh, a taste of what he can do. It, it's the transition. Orlando City effective. Get that 1v1 situation where they want Pato. And what a big time save. Using that left-handed paw and pushing it out for a corner kick. Alliance flooding back into position. Bo, oh, look at that dribbling exhibition. Still going. The Argentine plays the Spaniard. Heel, head up, curling shot. What a world of a goal. Carlos Hill brings Gillette Stadium to its feet. What a terrific strike by the Revolution captain. One nothing. He's 1v1. He cuts inside, and it's it's this Meg right here. Ooh, so sweet. He keeps pushing, and he gets it off his feet, continues into the box. And this is where Carlos Hill, you give him that much time and space. He looks, he eyes the keeper, knows exactly where he's going, bends it around the defender. Galesi has no shot at that. Perfectly struck. 1-0 revolution. And yeah, the little magician says, you know, I got you guys. Let's go. More media concerns for New England. Pereira gets it over the wall, but right into the gut of the... Uh, people say, what are the Reds going to do without Adam Buccio? Well, they've got Gustavo Bo out there playing Carlos Hill for one thing. It, it's, it's a different dynamic, but it works. As you, as you can see, him. not all number nines need to be fast and strike as a striker. You see Andrew Farrell with the yellow card here. A lot of air under that. It's searching for the head of Schlegel. Shout for handball. Now Janssen advances, drives, and finds the side paddle. Goal 1-1. One, one. The center back with a decisive strike to equalize for Orlando. Now it's a floated corner kick to the back post. And there was arguments for handball. I don't think so. Matt Polster misses it. And then you see Robin Janssen take it, take it. And he just fires it low between the legs of Petrovic. It's a fantastic finish from the center back. From that angle, it's got to be low. Five called down there. Jake Moraney guilty of the foul, and he will be yellow carded. But Central playing alongside Tommy McNamara at times. That gives stability, and I think that allows Sebastian Legette to get on the ball a little bit more often. And we're underway here in the second half. Square for Junior Urso, gets it back from Moraney. Junior Urso, he let go of a shot, it was blocked, but now uh, Facundo Torres has it. Now he'll shoot low, but it's saved by Petrovic, who anticipated that really well. Now they're getting into those spots, and you see Facundo Torres with the quick one, too, between John Bell's legs. First corner of the half for the visiting team. 
The swing delivery, Petrovic stretches and looks to spring the counter with a long. Schlegel. Bell chests it down, but to the wrong team, and then commits the foul. That's just lack of match fitness. Now Barrero gets involved, and he gets booked. Now wide to an open Dwan Jones. Good stand-up tackle by the defender, Smith. Now Mulraney, Jones thought he got it cleanly. The referee disagreed and brandishes another yellow card. Except for uh, Farrell out of midfield. It's Bell, big target. Curling ball, the back stick. Oh, by just misses with the header. That corner, and Brendan by he rises up. Times it perfectly, and Tommy McNamara just missed. Herrera. A lot of space to float that in. Johnson knocks it down. McNamara gets it out, and that's a smart header by Bo. Good job by Dewan to win it back. Back heel from Josie, and then a nutmeg. Jones on Schlegel. Plays it centrally. It doesn't get there, though. And then... A yellow card in this game, still one to one. Carlos Hill with the free kick, stands it up, not cleared. Both thought about the shot, now he clips it in for Josie, knocked down. It was by elevating for the header, and it will be a goal kick. That was a good opportunity, Charlie. Give me a long throw to the near post. Farrell doesn't clear, taken down by Smith. Oh, what a save by Petrovic! Are you kidding me? All right. It's a long throw, and you see right here, wow, what a shot, it's absolutely stunk. Bo, Carlos Hill, Altidore wanted to his feet, Jones, uh, he got poleaxed there by Kyle Smith. Free kick New England. Three blasts to the whistle end the game, so there won't even be a review. And this game ends 1-1.